Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. I'm Christina. Today's pick a card is general messages. Let's just see what's going on in your energy. Let's see what your angels and guides want to tell you at this time. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? Here we go. All right, today we have pile one with green aventurine, pile two with golden quartz, pile three with red jasper, and pile four with carnelian. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay, pile one, uh, you chose the green aventurine, and this one's your reading. Let's get your cards. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Chariot, Nine of Wands, and uh, Six of Swords. Um, you have two nines here, and that means almost the completion, right? We're almost at the end of the cycle, right? So. Um, if you're seeing double nines, that means that I feel like whatever we're going to talk about today is, is close. It, it's not quite here yet, but it might be close. Um, nine of cups is a wish fulfillment. So you're, you're getting something that you really want, something that's going to make you really happy, something that's going to make you jump for joy and shine. Um, you know, it could even bring, bringing you some financial abundance here. what I'm well here we go eight of cups is walking away from something so you're getting a wish fulfillment but at the same time you're going to have to give something up you're going to have to walk away from something so you're going to have to leave something behind so it, it, it feels like a little bit of a sacrifice you might have to sacrifice something um because look, if you look at this card, look, she has nine cups here, right? And she's jumping for joy. She's got the treasure chest down there. So like, I kind of feel like there's nine cups here. And then the eight of cups, look, she's leaving one of the cups behind. So she's leaving one behind. So she's sacrificing this cup so she could still have all these eight cups, right? So I feel like there's something you got to leave behind or something you have to walk away from. But I'm not upset over it because you still have eight cups, number one. But number two, you have the chariot. The chariot is about, it's a victory card, right? It's its about having success. It's about keep going. Keep, keep looking forward. You are headed in the right direction and success is coming to you. As long as you keep yourself in balance, things will work out just fine. Now, Nine of Wands tells me that you've been through some stuff you know but it's just saying keep going just keep going you're almost to the end just keep going it's almost there it's not ending yet but it's it's almost there um you know it's it's the endurance card like whatever whatever's going to bring you this happiness keep going towards it you've you've put in a lot of energy towards it it looks like and uh don't give up now not when you're like close to the finish line Six of Wands is victory again. It's success. It's public recognition of that success. So you're going to get recognized or you might even be, become famous in your field for something. Um, it's a wish come true. And you're going you're gonna to feel the accomplishment, you know, the reward of um, doing what you had to do. Whether you had to make a sacrifice or walk away from something else. Um, it's surely, um, there's going to be a reward at the end for it. So, like I said, you have two nines here. Look out for those synchronicities, the nine nines. Um, it's going to tell you that, yeah, you're really close. You're really close to achieving this. So let's get a few more here. Two of Wands, Justice, 
Five of Pentacles, and Ace of Wands. All right, so again, um, you're going to have to make this decision uh, about whether you should walk away or not, or you're just waiting for the news, waiting for the opportunity, because you're at a nine, you're not at a 10 yet, right? So you're still playing the waiting game here. You could have to travel. Um, this could be a travel card. And with the chariot, that's a movement card as well. So you could be traveling or moving. But I really feel like you're just, you're kind of waiting for either an opportunity to come in or some new information. There's something here. And it's coming. This is saying justice is coming. You're going to be fine. This also could be a legal issue here. Um, I'm not seeing an, a legal problem, but I'm saying like maybe um, some contracts you have to sign or some legal paperwork that could be in the, uh, coming up for you. You know, especially like if you're moving, you might have to sell your house or buy a new one, something like that. Rent. Um, but that's what I'm seeing for that. But I'm, I'm seeing justice is coming to you. Like you're, you're, you're getting what you deserve. Again, it's a balance card, just like the chariot is. You have to stay in balance for this all to, to work out. Stay in that alignment. Now, I feel with the five of pentacles, you're in a financial pinch right now. I feel like, uh, you might be struggling a little bit financially. Um, I do feel like that's coming to an end. And I feel like whatever's coming in for you, um, it's just going to ignite the fire within you. You're going to have that passion again. It's going to be exciting and it's a new adventure for you. So my suggestion is don't be afraid to walk away or to sacrifice one of your cups because you still have eight and it's going to bring you a lot of reward or recognition or happiness. You know, look, look how bright that sun is behind her she's shining bright she's jumping for joy so whatever's coming in this is a new beginning somehow some way um it's going to definitely bring you uh some much wanted happiness especially after this this is this is tough for anybody all right let's get you some more cards teamwork all right so somebody could be coming in to offer you um, some teamwork here to work with you to accomplish your goals or to get you on the right path here or they might be coming in with this new passionate offer but it looks like you're going to be working with someone You've got Kali. Now, Kali, it says, the mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. So Kali's kind of like a tower moment. So unfortunately, uh, you, you're going to be sacrificing something or walking away from something. And it might leave you in a financial bind a little bit, but you're going to be okay. Okay, so just bear with me. You know, when Kali comes in, she's like as subtle as a sledgehammer. You know what I mean? She comes in to strip us what of what we no long what no longer serves us. And that sounds good in theory, but in actuality, it, it's like it, it feels like the ground beneath us has turned to like quicksand. You know, you know everything is just like crumbling. It's not, everything feels like it's falling apart. But it's not, okay? She just doesn't want us to waste another second being something or someone we're not. Right? So it's like uh, if you're with a partner who doesn't treat you with respect and love, then guess what she's going to do? She's going to find a way to break his up. Right? Um, the same thing with a, a different, if somebody's taking advantage of you in business, she's going to find a way to end that partnership. Something like that. Um, but she's giving you the opportunity to start over, you know, this time from a place of wisdom and strength. So, uh, 
Callie is a, a, a scary card for me because I don't like tower moments. But I do know that they are for our highest good. So, yeah, you're going to be okay. Okay, it, it's, it's ha this is going to happen for a reason. And the reason is um, it, it's going to bring you so much happiness and so much joy. Uh, you're you're going to have new passion here, something new to look forward to, a new adventure. So let's uh, not fight this too much, okay? Because this is, you're going to want to fight this. And, and I think you should just allow it. Hyena, dare to be different. Okay, the, re the hyena reminds us to accept our own special qualities, right? To embrace our uniqueness. To, to just be true to you. Just be you. Be who you are. It's okay to be different. You don't have to follow the crowd and you don't have to be like everybody else. You don't have to make the decisions everybody else would make. It's okay to be you. You're special for a reason. So embrace it. Sanctuary. Privacy, personal space, respect boundaries and tattoo taboos um sanctuary so you um that's <laughs> sorry that is a um a card to remind you to be uh, good to yourself you know take care of yourself you know especially if you're going through like this Cali moment or this financial pinch here like don't beat yourself up be kind to yourself love yourself know that you are worthy of great things and know that great things are coming in for you just breathe you know and take care of yourself do some self-care um whatever that may be you know it could just be a bubble bath like she's in the tub you know just just breathe. Everything will work out for you. I promise you. And it's going to work out beautifully. It really is. You do have a blessing coming in, even though oh, you might have to go through something to get, to get it. <laughs> but something amazing is coming in for you. Hold your vision. Don't give up. Okay. Don't throw in the towel. Just know that, that, you know, your hard work will pay off. Just keep going. Keep persevering um you'll be okay if somebody new comes into your life don't be debbie downer even no, no matter what you're going through you know just stay light stay fun stay flirty do what you can to um not be so negative you know and not and and to um, don't give somebody the wrong impression of who you are Okay, because you are a beautiful soul. All right, let's get some love advice. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change. That is beyond our control. All right, so... That's reminding you that what's going to happen is going to happen, okay? And we can't control it. All we can do is accept it and to, to figure out a good way to deal with it, right? And how to move past it. So if there is something that's not so pleasant coming in, um, stay strong. You are strong. You are beautiful. And you will, you will be rewarded. I promise you, you will. Something good will come out of it. Messenger of Earth. That is like uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is just saying that you're hardworking. They want you to proceed with integrity. This is about perseverance again and grit. You know, you having grit, you having that it factor. Um, 
this is about having stamina. It's it's about keep going. You're you're going to be in the flow, and um, you're going to be dedicated and determined, to, determined, and knowing that your hard work will pay off. Like all the effort you put into it is going to be worth it. Okay, so just keep going. Don't give up on something. I don't know what it is, but don't give up on it. Okay, whatever is your wish fulfillment you know, just keep going towards it. You're going to get it. I promise you, you just have, you know, the road's going to be a little bumpy on the way there, but, um, you know, everything's going to work out. I'm sorry. I was sitting on my foot. <laughs> All right. Let's pull you a few charms. Here we go. Sorry for the yawn the ghost it's going to be a pleasant surprise coming in but there is definitely a change okay so something's uh now you got two celebration charms a birthday celebration and a party so i don't know if somebody's birthday's coming up or if there's something yeah you know, jesus's birthday supposedly is coming up <laughs> um you know, I don't know, there could be a celebration. So just, again, stay light, be fun, be flirty, be happy as, as much as you can. You you do have the goldfish here, so somebody could be keeping their eye on you. But I also, but I kind of feel like that's abundance coming in. Like abundance is here, it's in your vortex, it's coming, we're just, we have to get there. <laughs> And then you got the snowflake. And again, that's about being an individual. That card came out, you know, you know what? Be unique. It's okay. Embrace it. So that's what I got, pile one. Um, yeah, it's it's okay. You're going to be fine. You're going to have some tremendous success coming in after, um, you know, a long journey. But you have something really amazing to look forward to something very that's going to light that fire inside of you so that's exciting so look forward to that okay give the video a like if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel but more importantly leave me a comment the comments help a lot and i do appreciate them until next time love and light okay pile twos if you chose the golden quartz then this is your reading page of wands Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel, Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands. Good fortune, new money, wish coming true, new passionate beginning, someone with a lot of ideas. Uh, pile two, <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, all good things coming in here whatever it is you want you're getting it feels like you're manifesting or your manifestations are coming to life here you're getting exactly what you wished for um i love it cut does feel a little bit career oriented um like something that you really want to do in your career to pursue it further to climb that ladder it could be going back to school to learn something new or or doing something fun and exciting within your career that's going to make you some money. Or, you know, just something that's going to give you a leg up against the competition. There's something here, but it's it's passion. It's something you're passionate about. Something that you're going to love. Something that's going to bring you a lot of joy. And, you know, you have a lot of ideas swirling in their head. So, uh, yeah, just be patient. Um luck is on your side right now so i you, i don't think you can do any wrong here i'm sure you can so let's just uh, stay stay love and light <laughs> but you know what i mean great things absolutely great things let's pull some more cards okay here we go Four cups, six of cups, nine of swords, and the high priestess. It kind of feels like we switched gears a little bit. It kind of feels like the first row is about career, but the second row is about your love life. 
hmm. I don't know why. It just feels like there was a, a switch here. So let's let's read it. Let's see what what we're getting. Maybe it'll make sense to you. So you're something you're bored with, something you're not satisfied with, something uh, you feel unfulfilled. Six of Cups could mean somebody's reappearing from your past. Either that or you're thinking about the way things used to be. You're in your head about something. I, th- I think somebody from your past is coming back to tempt you. To tempt you. Mm-hmm. And you really have to think about it. You're tempted. It's causing you major anxiety. They're saying, trust your intuition. You're going to know what's best for you. I'm going to say you should just concentrate on the first. (laughs) The first. This this, uh, row. Because... uh, uh, I'm worried. I'm worried about this. Like, I don't want this to mess this up. Because I kind of feel like if you get caught up in this energy, that's going to mess up the flow of this. And this is amazing. This is fantastic. This is you achieving greatness. Right? Whatever lights that fire inside of you. This is a new adventure for you. It's going to bring in money. It has good fortune. Like, it's a wish come true. Don't mess it up by feeling like this. All right. So whoever this is coming in to make you, uh, you know, if that's a person coming back from your past, um, my suggestion, and this is my suggestion, uh, is keep them at arm's, <laughs> arm's length. But you got to do what's right for you. I mean, that could be just you in your head thinking about the way things used to be. Whatever you do, quiet your mind, you know, give yourself five, ten minutes if you can, quiet your mind and listen to your intuition. It's not going to steer you wrong. So you'll know what to do. But let's pull some more cards and see where this goes. <laughs> Let go of stress. All right, so... Don't let anything stress you out because we don't want to mess this up. This is amazing. So let go of the stress. Pavarti, the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave when I commit to love. My soul evolves. All right. Basically, what she tells us, though, is that sometimes we have um, a hard shell, right? Sometimes we need to, you know, open up that shell a little bit to the soft, ooey-gooey center, right? We need to let that ooey-gooey center show. So that's uh, that's a card about being kind and being loving and loving yourself and uh, loving others. So, uh, somebody from your past could be, you know, making you feel angry. You know, that's what that could be. And they're saying, just show love. Just be love. Be kind. You don't need that person in your life if you don't want them. But just, uh, you know, it's about being soft, being flexible instead of being so rigid. You know, it's, it's about being, being bendable not always having to be right so embrace the godlike energy and be love when you can Kingfisher, be patient and focused. Hmm. Um, what does your heart desire? Figure it out. That's what you need to go for. That's what you need to be focused on. What makes you truly happy? You know, what lights that fire inside of you? Because you obviously can have it. 
right? And I know, I know you know, like you have all these ideas of how to achieve your dreams, how to make your wishes come true, how to bring in this more money. You have these ideas. And so I know you can accomplish this. You can accomplish great greatness. So just focus your desires, follow your heart, right? Listen to your intuition. And um, like I said, be flexible. Don't be so rigid. Don't be so bullheaded. (laughs) You know, if somebody, if so, you don't agree with somebody's idea, you know, uh, you know, just, just be nice about it. Transparency, honest, authentic, genuine, and present. Uh, see, I just think that's you. I think you are authentic. I think you're true to yourself. Um, but I think that's about you digging deep and, and following your heart's desires. What's really going to make you happy? Don't let anybody sidetrack you sidetrack you from your desires. Okay? Don't let anybody hold you back. Don't give away your power. Have a clear vision of what you want. Because prosperity lies ahead told you new money's coming in so you're on the right path it's just uh you know somebody might come in to put a wrench in it but you're gonna be like nope not happening you're not gonna you're not gonna mess up my flow i'm in the flow i'm in the flow and that's where i I need to stay (laughs) new love a new person has stirred romantic feelings so you might have a new love interest which may spark somebody from your past to come forward and say hey i see you're dating somebody new i don't like that uh you know give me a chance and you're gonna be like uh-uh, mm-mm, i'm happy i'm on the right path i'm in the flow <laughs> no you're gonna do what's right for you you're gonna follow your heart's desire you are but all right let's get a love advice card here Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Well, you are amazing. So you are magnetic right now. And there's probably more than one person coming out of the woodwork, especially if you are single or if you just met somebody new. They're probably like, I don't want to miss my opportunity. It's it's new. So I, I can, you know, I still have a chance. I don't know. Seven of Earth. There you go. That's saying basically it's your decision. That's Seven of Pentacles. That's you analyzing the situation, taking a look at it. You know, is this situation right for me or do I switch gears and go in a different direction? So uh, only you have the answers. Let's give you a... Let's pull you some charms. go we have a wish coming true attached to it is the present (laughs) is the gift so I I do feel like you're getting a gift I'll untangle that in a minute Um, you've got the kitty cat so the kitty cat to me is again about intuition trusting your intuition I think cats are very intuitive um, but I, I also think that's like, don't let anybody else influence your decisions. Like make your decisions based on what you want in your life, right? What's going to make you happy. Somebody's got the key to your heart here, right? And then you, something's bringing you some peace. So, and then finally you have the sewing machine. And that means I I feel like you can fix anything in your life. Like you could sew things up. You could create whatever you want to create. Like you are the master designer of your reality. So what does that look like for you? 
I think you need to be clear on your visions, clear on what you want. Because I think you are a master uh, manifester here. I think that you could manifest anything you wanted. That's how much amazement I feel from you. Like, I feel like you're amazing. So, that's what I got for you, Pile 2. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. But more importantly, leave me a comment. The comments help me a lot, and I appreciate them. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the red jasper, then this one's going to be your reading. Here we go again. The Wheel of Fortune. Three of Pentacles. Page of Cups. The Star. The Hermit. All right, what's going on here? Um, something good. <laughs> Uh, you got a wish fulfillment here, a wish coming true, and good fortunes on your side, so the wheel's turning in your favor. Working with somebody here, teamwork to get something accomplished or to achieve a goal, or I don't know, it's, it's working together with someone. Page of Cups is somebody coming in, um, either with an apology or a pleasant surprise. So somebody's coming in i i kind of feel like it might be a pleasant surprise here especially with the holidays coming up you know but the hermit tells me that you're still in hermit mode you're still not pulling yourself out of it um i don't know why i'm saying still acting like you've been there for a while you might have been maybe a lot of you have been in hermit mode for a while but i feel like you're in hermit mode um, so you have something really good coming in, uh, I, I, I guess it, I guess you don't see it coming because you're still searching for answers. You're still kind of staying in and not putting yourself out there and I don't know. I don't know, Pile 3. I'm feeling a little sad, and I don't want to feel sad because you have something really great coming in, and you have somebody that you're going to be working with. So that's, so you're not alone. I don't know. I'm just not, I'm just not getting the whole gist of this reading yet. What is it that's coming in, and what are you working on? What are you working towards, and why are you in hermit mode? What are you, what are you searching for? Let's see if we can get some answers here. The wheel again. That's interesting, right? The Hierophant. Temperance. Eight of Wands. Wow. All right. So something really good is heading your way. You got the Wheel of Fortune twice. So that's either a lot of money coming your way or like new love or something you really, really want. It is your wish come true for sure, but it's like a big wish. It's not a little wish. Like something really good is about to happen for you. I feel like with the Hierophant, you might be getting a new mentor. Somebody might be working with you, advising you, being a, a, a mentor of sorts. They're saying just have a little bit more patience because this is coming in and when it comes in it's going to come in quickly things are going to move fast so you're going to have to pull yourself out of hermit mood because it's not going to allow you whatever this is it's not going to allow you to stay there so there's going to be a big switch up here in your energy huh all right we're getting closer right <laughs> let's get some more I like that, like, I like that you got the Wheel of Fortune twice. That means something really, really, really good is coming in for you. Could be something you always wanted or something you've been really working towards. Practice. They're saying you have to practice something. So, you know, practice always makes me feel like, you know, 
for some reason, my mind goes to music, you know, practice the instrument, practice the vocals or practice something, right? Get good at something. You got to keep practicing. You got to keep doing it. Um, But for some reason, I think this has something to do with communication. Practice being a good communicator. Practice telling people what you want or how you feel. I don't know why. I I guess because the Eight of Wands is a communication card, but that's the feeling I'm getting. Like you need to practice being good at communicating. I don't know. I guess it doesn't have to be. So, you know, take it for how it resonates for you, whatever it is you need to practice, but they want you to get good at something. (laughs) So they're saying you have to put in the work. Oh, you got Pope Joan. It says, the pontiff of possibilities. Look, and you got the Hierophant. This is interesting. Possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. Okay, so Pope Joan is about saying, like, we can easily get caught beneath the glass ceiling of what we think is impossible what we think is possible. I'm reading from the book, if you haven't guessed. And I can't read for some reason. (laughs) Um, But the truth is that everything is possible. It's hard for us to imagine just how much the divine wants for our lives. Much more than we can ever hope. Pope Joan reminds us that even if we think that what we want isn't possible, it is. Or even better, that there is something our soul wants for us that will give us more than we think we can. We have the right to ask for. So Pope Joan is assigned to trust in what you believe about yourself. Trust what's within you. Don't rely on what you see around you. Have faith. Know that the circumstances you are currently in are transformed from within. Begin to believe in a vision for your life. Cultivate the capacity to see it. And to really imagine it with all your senses and you will live into the day when it exists and the reality that now surrounds you. So it's like you can create your reality, right? That's what Pope Joan reminds you, that that you have the ability to make your dreams come true and that nothing is off the table. That You can have whatever it is you want. So there you go, pile three. Um... She's saying, you know, you don't have to be limit, limited. You can be limitless. You can have whatever it is you want. So while you're in hermit mode, figure out your dreams. What are they? What would, what, dream big. You know, what is it? And then start believing you can have it, right? And, uh, you know, maybe if you have somebody to talk to that could help you, right? that can help you on your journey, then do that. Ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out to somebody and say, hey, I could use a favor. B, spread heart healing with joy. All right, so the B is a a little warrior, right? They work hard for the community, their community, right? And they're happy to do that. So they're saying, you know, do everything you can with joy and help when you can help and spread, spread the love. Like, don't be miserable. Don't be, um, you know, solemn because I felt some sadness. So don't, don't be sad, solemn, be happy and spread that joy. Um, because you're going to create great things in this life. And that only, not only will it help you, but it'll help others as well. Freedom, independence, self-determination. So you have the freedom to do whatever it is that your hearts desire. You know that. You have the answers. What is it that you want? Right? Get clear. Get clear, but um, 
go for it. Be self-reliant. Don't depend on others to make it happen for you. You can ask for help along the way, but you got to put in the work, I think. You know, I think that you have to do something here. Um, but you could, don't, don't think that you can't ha have, like, something that feels impossible. You can. You can. Be bold and make the first move. There you go. Make that first move. Get started. Reach out. Ask, ask, reach out to somebody. Ask for the help if, if, if you need help. Or ask for guidance. Ask for advice. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Okay, so if you're looking for love, just keep an open mind. But I think that's more of keep an open mind in everything. Like, don't close yourself off. Don't limit yourself. You know, be open to greatness. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows. So um, don't force a situation. Don't be too clingy. Don't, you know, just make sure you're independent within a, a relationship. It's just a reminder of don't get codependent on people. You are responsible for your own happiness. No one else is. Eight of water, which is eight of cups. So, um, you know, that usually means walking away from something. But let me see what, what she wants to say in this book. Because she has good, um, she has good uh, interpretations of these cards. They're, 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 sometimes they're the same, but sometimes they're a little different. It's about the journey of discovery, letting go and seeking a deeper meaning and greater authenticity beyond superficiality. All that glitters isn't gold, and I know that I always deserve authentic riches, the gold that fills me with joy, abundance, and understanding. I fearlessly pause to re-examine where I have been, where I am, and where I might go. Now, I consciously choose the path that is right for me instead of the one that seemed likely to draw me into it or the one I feel I ought to walk. I am true to my heart and I've come as far as I can and I leave by the wayside the last vestiges of illusion, the last bits of fear and shame and I will no longer hold on to what isn't right for me. So... Pile three, if you got to switch up your entire life, switch it up. It's not too late to start over. It never is. It's always a new day. Oh, you can always begin again. So that's what that's saying. If you got to walk up, walk away from something because it's not right for you, walk away. Start over. You got to be happy in this life. And don't think that you can't do it. You, you can and you will. You'll find a way. You always do. The divine always helps. Especially when we're on our soul's path or our soul's journey. They'll find a way to help. Alright, let's pull you some charms. Oh, you got some muddled thinking, some foggy thoughts, not knowing what to do, right? It'll become clear. You have some soulmate energy here. You got the teddy bear. The teddy bear's broken. <laughs> Hang on. You got my teddy bear charm. He's without a belly, but here's the belly. I don't know. I'm trying to fix it. But anyway, I just think that this just is a reminder that you are lovable, that you are huggable, and that you deserve everything that you want in life, right? Make a wish. It'll come true. Um, oh, you got the knot. So I think there's a commitment coming in for you. It could be in love. It could be in work. It could be anything, but a commitment's coming in, right? And I feel like something's, there's, like you're being given a gift right now. 
even if it's just your thoughts, it, it, it's you're being a given a gift. So be open to, um, you know, whatever comes your way. All right. Um, you got the death. You got the death charm. So I just feel like something's ending. You're going to, you're going to walk away from something, something that's not serving you anymore because you know, it just doesn't feel right anymore. I think you got a brand new adventure on the way for you. Don't be afraid of it. All right. That's what I got for you. Pile three. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. The comments help and I appreciate them. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the Carnelian, and this one's going to be your reading, let's get your cards here. We have Two of Swords, Two of Wands, the Chariot, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords. All right, you got two twos here. So, um, if you're seeing double twos, just know that you're on the right path here. Um, but you have a decision to make and I feel like you're kind of waiting on some news or some clarity here, but I do definitely feel like you're going to be moving away from something. You're going to choose to, um, leave anxiety behind and go towards your happiness, your heart's desire. Uh, yeah, I, I, you might not want to leave or there might be reasons why you're holding yourself back here because I feel like you have to make a decision and it feels like you have to make a decision to leave but you're waiting for some information or some knowledge some truth to come out some definitely some clarity with the queen of swords but you're definitely going to choose to move away from it to whatever situation you're currently in you're going to you're going to pick a new path what you're in is no longer serving you anymore. It's time to let go. And the chariot tells me that you will be very successful in this move. By making this decision, it is for your highest good. So don't be afraid to make it. Um, you know, if you're holding yourself back because there's, you know, you're waiting for something important, then I understand. But I think you already know that you need to move on. From whatever the situation is, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It could be a relationship. It could be a job situation. It could be anything you're moving on. It could be a friendship you need to like cut ties with. You need to move on. You need to go in a different direction. Um, so whatever that is, at, you will be successful. It will be worth it. So let's pull you some ch more cards. I was going to say pull you some charms. I'm nowhere near that yet. the moon five of swords two of cups eight of swords all right um okay so you have some you have some anxiety um all right you're waiting on some clarity there's some things you don't know yet right there's some fogginess here you got some brain fog here there's just some things some answers you don't have yet and you're waiting on it before you make your decision. I understand that. That's fine. You want clarity. You want to get clear. It's coming. But there is some conflict in your life. So uh, whatever this conflict is, it's like you're you're ready to move away from it. You just, you want to be done with it. But I don't know. You're holding yourself back. Now, you have a soulmate energy here. Now, I don't know if you're moving towards your soulmate. Or this is what's holding you back. Like you know that the person you're dealing with is a soulmate and you're afraid to let it go completely. And that's why you could be all in your head. But let me just tell you with that eight of swords, you're making it out to be a lot worse than it is. If you would just take off your blindfold, you will see that you are going to move out of the choppy waters into very smooth sailing. You will be successful. So you're either afraid to leave a soulmate or you are going towards a soulmate. Either way... I don't see you having any choice. I see you having to make the move. I see you having to move forward. You're being held back right now. Like you're you're not happy and something's holding you back. So you got to break free. 
You got to get into your chariot and just drive. Just go. Just go forward. Move forward. Make the change. Share. When you share, everyone feels happy. All right. So don't be greedy. <laughs> share. Whatever that is, whatever that means for you. Um, you know, be, be willing to share. Lalita, the red goddess. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. Okay. So you're going through something. So you're a little bit serious right now. Okay. You might be holding on to something a little too tightly with this card here. So this is saying it's okay to share. When you share, you'll make everyone happy, but also it, 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 it'll be for your benefit, right? So I'm going to read from the book a little bit from, from Lala, Lalita. But she arrives, she, she says that answers arrive from disengaging with the energy that created the problem to begin with, right? There's that conflict. There's a conflict here. So you need to disengage it to get your answer. We so often hold tight to what we desire with a grip that actually inhibit it, inhibit it, inhibit, it inhibits us from it arriving. <laughs> you know I didn't say that correctly, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, we're blocking it. <laughs> the secret to desire is holding it lightly. You know? Basically, you already have your answers. You already know. So why are you holding on to what no longer so serves you too tightly? You know, she's the reminder that we don't have to suffer our way to get what we want most. The path to what we desire and to becoming the soul we need to be in order to receive it can be paved with joy, with divine play, and with the sacred process of lightening, lightening up all along the way. Don't have the death grip. Loosen up. Loosen up the hold. Don't hold on too tightly. You know, you share. It's okay. You're moving on. You know, don't hold on to the past too tightly. Don't hold on to anger or bitterness or resentment or it's mine. You know, it's mine. You don't deserve it. It's mine. No, let it go. Share. It's okay. Because you have, you're going towards your happiness. You're, t you're going towards success. You could be going towards a soulmate. So let what no longer serves you go. Be independent, but work together. So there you go, share. <laughs> be independent, be single, be, be you know, on your own. Count on yourself. Be careful who you trust, right? But share. Work with somebody, you know. Uh, lighten up. Loosen the grip. It all means the same thing. You'll be rewarded because you're going to get what you most desire from this. So that, that's what Kali, I mean, Lolita is saying, is saying that like if you loosen your grip, it's going to bring in what you truly want anyway. So who cares about, the, you know, sharing if you have to share. Breathe deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies, air. Look at this card, okay? Look at that, look at that. That's your soulmate. And you're going to share the air with your soulmate. That Your soulmate's coming in. You're going towards your soulmate. I think you you need to let go with somebody else, to be honest with you. I feel like that that's what this is all about. You need to let go and just move on already. Who cares about the conflict? Who cares about material things? Let it all go. Share it. I mean, don't, don't let somebody take complete advantage of you but like 
Go towards happiness. That's what's important. That's what matters most in life. Love, happiness, desire. That's what you want and that's what you can have. So, I don't know. And maybe it's not. Maybe it's you got to leave a certain situation, a different situation. And that's okay too, but... I like my I like my situation because I in my scenario in my situation you get something pretty amazing you get a soulmate who's gonna be the love of your life so that's that's why I'm I like my I like my interpretation there <laughs> your dreams need a practical plan so your soulmate doesn't know your soulmate doesn't know you want them or you're coming towards them or you're releasing the past so you can bring in the future. They don't know. That's okay. That doesn't mean you can't have it. You can still have it, but you need a plan here. You need you need some steps. You gotta you gotta you know make a plan. Uh, there's that reconciliation. I kind of feel like this is your soulmate. I think you're going to reconcile with your soulmate. I think you're going back. Now, reconciliation could be somebody from a past life. It doesn't have to be this lifetime, but um, I think you're coming back together with a soulmate. And it's going to be a beautiful union. Let's get your love advice. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. All right. So you're going through something, but you're getting a blessing and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> it is. It's going to be amazing. Oh, let's get a final card here. King of Air, King of Swords. It's all about being honest, being true to you. What do you want? Go after it. It's about being smart, being wise, reason over instinct, intellect over passion, successful negotiation, share, right? Because there's rules and there's laws that you have to follow. Think before you act, but be logical, be logical, okay? Take the emotion out of it, be logical, make the best decision for everyone involved. <laughs> Here we go. Make a wish, it's coming true. Look at that, Cupid's here. You're, they're, Cupid's bringing in your soulmate even if it's somebody from your past somebody's Cupid's bringing them in and it is a soulmate look at that look at that the key to your heart the key to success look at all that a change a transformation things are changing but it's going to be solid you're going to grow something solid and stable and reliable you're going towards that. That's the, that's the goal. And you're going to get it. Right? L don't hold on too tightly. Loosen the grip. The, don't be a dog with a bone. Let it go. Let it go. Whatever's not serving you, let it go. Be reasonable. Be logical. And uh, make the best decision for everyone involved. Even if it kills you. <laughs> Because you're getting something amazing out of it. A blessing's going to come to you. So the faster you resolve this, the faster your blessing comes in. So do what you got to do, Pile 4. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. But more importantly, leave me a comment. The comments help me a lot and I appreciate them. Till next time, love and light.